Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pillars of Eternity Let's Play. And this one, we will be... I'm not sure, we're actually going to continue through the uh, catacombs here, because apparently there's still... Uh, secrets whisper here, I shall listen for them. Still more stuff around this place, it seems. I'm kind of curious. Some more skeletal fighters. Okay. Stun it. And kill it. And kill that one. Who's this? Uh, her obvious, you can go back to your Die already! I'll take care of it. Okay, that was a piece of cake. And I think uh let's see, how close are we to level twelve? I want to be able to get to level 12 for our people. Oh, she's really close to leveling up. So we can uh, do uh, finish the game, really. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see how we can do this one. Uh, you need to stun that wizard. It's another wizard. Over. Where did I go? Okay, I'm right here. Uh, no, you stun that wizard. You go kill that wizard. Oh, what are you doing? Rude. Uh, switch to your whatever these are. Yeah, what's, what other spells should you have? Tunement, I guess. Much for you. Dang, I kill that fast. Oh. She killed that one. Alright, I'm gonna go up to that one. She's got that one. And that one's dead. As you wish. Yeah, skeletons, they're no big deal. Okay. Lots of bones and loot. I'll stay out of sight. That looks like someone. But there's no trap. There is not. Okay. This poor fellow corpse. He's just got leather armor. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's all. Nice and oh. All done. Oh. Hey, look what I found. Oh man. Hmm. Yeah. Can't disarm it. Oops. Come on. Yes. Sneaky on past the trap. Oh, healing of Thane. What that means. Alright, we're gonna stun him. You That's it! Kill it myself. Too strong. Oh, okay. Fine scepter, just a stupid grimoire, probably has nothing in it. Soul word amulet of will plus five. Meh. Whoa, okay. A soul prowls within the bloodstone like a caged stale guard. It's filled with a fierce, restless energy. Are you? You see an image in your mind of a woman in heavy leather armor bearing twin daggers. Next to her is a man, young and handsome, who calls her Rowena. Vision shifts to a windswept plain next to a lake. Fifty men and women in matching leathers lay dead, their bodies contorted and deformed by some sinister sorcery. 
Rowena falls among them, her body collapsing next to the young man you saw earlier. She's too weak to speak, but the name Dalton appears in your mind. A lone figure strides across the battlefield, barely bothering to step over the corpses. His eyes are filled with an unnatural light and fixed on Rowena. He reaches out to her, and what little life remained in her body departs. When he takes the amulet from around her neck, you feel her anguished soul trapped within it. And a final, with a final contemptuous glance at the fallen Dalton, the man departs. What do you want? You see an image of the amulet shattering and the soul inside rising and dissipating among the, among the stars. So we have to break the amulet. This and cobwebs have been swept aside for various alchemical implements, though coated with rust and grit, they look recently used. Okay. Laying low. Up there. Up there. Quick save. Followed by my immediate death. As soon as it quick saves, anyway. We all know how long this takes. Like 10 seconds. Oh, there's the. There's the locket. But what do we do with it? How do we. How do we do anything with it? Favoring resolve to intellect ball. Better gives her resolve. This gives him intellect. That gives him perception. Huh? That'd be better for him. Yeah, it is. This gives her perception. This gives her. Why does she have that? For life. Damage to flank targets. Gives. nothing. How much she in need of? got really high intellect and dexterity. Everything else sucks, though. It does more damage than, uh... Or she has more damage kind of spells. Well, yes and no. I'd rather not have to... Oh, I don't want to use a Pilgrim's Crown. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Oh, what the crap. I'm not sure we'll survive this. Hmm. Have a look at this. Holy crap, no one stepped hey. on it. That's amazing. No, oh, don't go back that yes. way, fools. Need something? I? Quit? Need something? What is it? Another man here. Oh. Oh, ouch, that uh, did not actually hurt. Oh, it's a pistol. That's it. Okay. Is that it to this place? Nothing more? Doesn't go over here at all? No? Okay. No secret doors or anything? I don't see anything. Okay. Ring. We've got two of these done. That's what we're running. We can go there. Then put it on relag. Maybe we'll go there next. I don't know. Uh, we need to get out of here, though. So I guess we'll go back to the Copper Lane District. Okay. What's this? Black is. Yeah, this is loot on the way. I don't care. Um. So we got endless paths. Got bounty quests. We've got the quests in Twin Elms, which seem kind of boring. I don't know. The 
this is a very long let's play but then again this is a very long loading screen and they have been for quite some time and that is probably a couple parts of the let's play in itself all the loading times and So that's okay. Well, that's not okay. It's actually pretty stupid. You would think with the advances in technology and engine stuff we have today compared to what Baldur's Gate had, loading times would be improved, but no, I guess older games are superior in terms of loading time. They always got it right. Usually the old games didn't have that long of loading time. And you can in fact be in multiple places at once. Anyway, um, Okay. Blade of the Endless Pass. Find more pieces of the ancient sword. So that's in the yeah, Endless Pass. It's in those waterfalls. So that's in that place, which I'm not even sure we want to finish. But we might anyway. Uh, we actually need to rest. We'll, we'll go. We'll go rest in a different village. I want to. I don't want to. I think I might want to save the endless paths for last. We'll do everything else before that, I guess. We'll go to the Stormwall Gorge and uh, enter the ruin and see if we can kill that one thing for the bounty. Um. It was funny. I read one uh, review of the game that was talking about the uh, resting bonus, free resting bonus in uh, the endless or in the uh, Cadnua. And it was something like, hey, people are just going to be abusing the free resting bonuses there. What do we do to prevent that from happening or whatever? And the response was something like, let's put four loading screens behind it. That'll do it. Yeah, I did it. Of course, every other rest has only two loading screens behind it. More, depending on if you have to, if you have to actually get to the area first. And then, of course, it also costs money. Of course, at this point in the game, money is, you know, Trivial. Is that the right word? Trivial? Non-trivial. I don't remember. It is not a problem. Welcome! Yes, rooms, please. Give me that. I could afford that millions of times. Oh, I could have sold stuff there. Ah. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter, I can go to the lady who sells stuff outside. Thank goodness for outdoor shops in this game, because loading screens are stupid. Even though there aren't really that many outdoor shops. It's okay. And yeah, she's right there, so that's really nice. It's close by. Hello! Well met, friend. Finally on the men, back in business. Anything I can do? Yeah. Show me your way, yes. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Don't believe I need that. And you can take all this and all this and all these. Oh, what the crap? Stop beeping. Oh my gosh. Shouldn't be doing that. And you can have all those. And you can have a book or two. And you can have... we've got bones, don't we? Where are the bones? Bones, bones, bones. Oh, we've got a lot of ogre blood. There you go, you can have our ogre blood. And the dank memes. Or spores. And there's some control skin. And balloons. We don't need that many of those. There are the bones, vessel bones. And I think that's it. Uh, finding coppers. Don't need that. And vessel flush. Don't need that. And shells. We don't need those. Uh, that looks good enough to me. Ding. Yeah, so much money. There's, there's nothing we can't afford at this point in the game. And it's unlikely we're ever going to go bankrupt. Uh... Okay. Stormwall Gorge. We'll see who uh, is in that place. Oh, 
Oh, I never actually started a uh, timer. I'm going to assume it's already been like 10 minutes, though. Oh, okay. I'm always going to read that as Le Ramen. Le Ramen. Ramen noodles. I remember eating those. But they've grown to not like them. I do not like it. Oh well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm never loading the screen. Okay. Now we have to find out where they are. I can't believe I've come back. It's so weird how this game actually makes you come back to these places once you've already cleared them. That's so strange. It doesn't happen in Baldur's Gate at all. Maybe it's in the lower level of, of this place. Yeah. I've already done this place. Yeah. I'm imagining that's probably not in any of these rooms. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's uh, down here. Let's take a look. Slow mode can be used to direct characters in combat without pausing. Fast mode is useful for traveling through areas the party has already explored. You know, I think the one thing common with RPGs like that is that your character is always like one of a kind. But then again, that is usually how it is for most main characters in specific narratives. And oh crap. Okay, that's what we were looking for. Uh, swamp spores. Oh, I hate these things. Okay. How are we going to approach this? Um... I really hate this kind of engagement. I guess we'll have to lure some of them out. What is it? On the hunt. Yeah. Okay. No. Good. Oh, that's bad. Bad. It's very bad. How long is that going to last? Okay, just a couple seconds. No, don't attack me. Don't attack me. Attack that. Okay. Done it. Done it. Okay. You. Knock everybody over. You. Lightning that, I guess. You lightning yourself, I guess. You swoop everyone back. Okay, go. That didn't work. Need to try something. Lava. Boom. Okay, let's make another explosion happen. Unseat. So much for you. Uh oh, leg spike. Oh no, it's paused. There we go. Boom, yeah. Okay, um. Uh, Tanglefoot, right there. Damn. Damn, yeah. Uh, we'll do this. Boom. Destroyed. Oh no, he hates those. Yes, okay, they're all dead. Now we can focus on killing everything else. Like, uh, I don't use that. Well. Yeah, you just use this. 
Oh, uh, that would have kept her corrupted druid. Do evil. Cleansing wind. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Come on. Let me try again. Ugh. He's never casting that spell. Ever. Come on, kill him. Thank you. They're gonna wait for this. Try <laughs> harder. Oh, that's all we have to do. You know, what? I'm out of here. I'm not gonna fight those stupid spores. I don't like fighting them. I don't care. That's all I wanted to do is kill that thing. And... Thank goodness that those stupid things cannot move. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. Okay. Next bounty is the one in some place. Lots of experience and items. Use an identity to spell whatever. I'm not going to release him ever. He knows what he did. Um, what was the last place? It was in... Somewhere I didn't want to go. I forget. That one was actually probably one of the easiest bounties to get, actually. Ah, mental binding is just too strong. Okay, last bounty is... Oh yeah, the Kleban Relag. Okay, so we go all the way over there. Hey, it's a deer. No, oh, get it. Yeah. No prisoners. Everything must be turned into little bits. Okay, Kleban Relag. Yeah, I think it said there's a camp here. We have to go directly to the place. And not somewhere outside of it, I imagine. Not really sure. We will be, though. Um, That'll be the end of this episode, though. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one where there will hopefully be Less loading screens. <laughs>